sup uh make another video two days in a row crazy today i'm gonna make a video on random objects in my room i'm going to review them let's start with um this paper frog it has some eyes drawn on it or they were drawn but I erased them I guess I don't know who made this frog for me it was a long time ago but it it jumps this was a gift to me from someone um it's a very nice gift and for that reason, this would be um, like a, a, a five-star gift right here. Um, origami stuff is cool, especially when it jumps. Zizel. Allergy relief medicine. I took one of these this morning because my nose is very stuffy. Um, 24 hours. Gives you relief. Got 35 tablets. A little expensive. Sometimes you don't always have to use it because you just gotta suck it up and deal with your stuffy fucking nose, man. It's like a 3 out of 5 because... Seasonal allergies. Um, computer screen cleaner and a cloth that came with it. You just kind of, you kind of spray it on, and then you wipe it down, and it becomes nice and clean. It works for other screens too. It's wonderful. Great purchase. You can get it on Amazon. Would recommend. Um. We have two different colognes here. One of them is infinitely better than the other one because one of them is Hollister and the other one is Polo. And one smells good and the other one smells like a 13-year-old's bedroom. So, I got this for Christmas. It's bad. Don't use it. Polo, on the other hand, I'm pretty much out of it because it smells amazing. Know, know which colognes to get. Don't let people get you cologne for presents because they don't know what you like to smell like. Look at this little painting that um my friends made for me for Christmas. Amazing gift. Probably one of the greatest gifts I've ever gotten. Cause, Cause look how nice it looks. Get a close up on that. It's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. I just keep it on my windowsill. And then we got, then we got what I made. I made this. Just compare the two in quality and tell me that this one is not garbage. Amateur hour looks like it could be like a part of an art gallery. I'm an artist. Uh, what else we got? This. It's like a battery for something. I don't know what it goes to. One out of five. Uh, degree. Deodorant. My preferred deodorant. It's pretty nice. It smells nice. Mm. That's good stuff. Logitech mouse. It's got 
buttons on the side. I use it for my laptop. Works great. Fits my hand nicely. I like it a lot. Oh, let me. Uh, a Bob Ross energy drink. Positive energy drink. It gives you positive energy. Got this in South Carolina in a candy store. Do not regret it. Just put that right there. Slippers, champion slippers, great. They got like actual rubber bottoms so you can actually walk outside with them if you want. I mean, they're slippers, so I wouldn't do that, but I've done it before. So I would do that. Very nice slipper. A, uh, a sock with Christmas trees on it. Keeps your feet warm and it's stylish. Uh, Villager amiibo, I trained it. Destroys all my other amiibos, it's way too good. Got it for a Christmas gift for my brother. Shout out, Owen. Thank you. Thanks. Um. A unwashed spoon with uh, pasta grease on it. Um, no comment. Ooh. Lay's Stacks Mesquite Barbecue. In my opinion, Lay's Stacks, much better than Pringles. They actually have a crunch to them. They, they have more flavor. Pringles, they're, they can get soggy. They, they just, they're very, very greasy. You ask me. They have a strange taste to them. Lay stacks. You won't regret it if you make the switch, trust me. I'm I've been converted to lay stacks and I haven't looked back since. Wallet. It's got my personal information in it. I, I carry this thing around. So I, I would have to recommend a wallet. To, um, anyone interested in buying a wallet, you should. It's useful. Uh, a bottle of Stamina Up Soda. Um, Stamina Up Soda is a uh, a drink in the the Call of Duty Zombie series. Um, you buy it, and it gives unless you run faster. Um, I have a lot of these in my room. I, I remade them, got made the labels, made from Goyo soda bottles. Um, it's yellow. Use colored dye. It was fun. Um, I kind of want to redo them all just because like the labels are a little iffy and some of the colors are a little off and need more bottles. But. Uh... Bury the Bee, uh, it's a McDonald's toy. There you have it. No further explanation needed. Blue Monkey. Got it at a fair. Carnival. I want it. He's got a tail. It's a nice little fuzzy monkey. He's got a nice blue color to him. Like cotton candy. I forgot I had this. Ow. <sighs> Lenin's Tomb. The Last Days of the Soviet Empire by David Remnick. Winner of the Pulitzer Prize. I haven't read it. It's been sitting in my room for God knows how long. I am not um, cultured in literature, unfortunately. I should be. But 
there you have it. I would recommend it because it's a it's a book about the last days of the Soviet Union. That's awesome. It's cool. I should read it. Um, another wonderful book series, uh, The 39 Clues. Good for uh, children to learn about history. Um, this one was about Amelia Earhart and how she tried to fly across the world. And um, in this book, they say she actually crash landed in the Pacific. But with 39 Clues, they're a family of, like, who have all been involved in, like, historical events. And they have, like, treasure on them or something. And they need to find, like, the clues to get to the the big the big treasure that the, the grandmother left behind for all the other family members. And it's a big competition. It's cool. Got kids? I recommend this book, book series. Oh. Where's my second hair? What the? Okay. Anyways, the second Percy Jackson book, or not the second one, the first one. I'm missing the second one. I don't know where it is. The Lightning Thief is a great uh, young adult novel. Uh, the movies, the movies are bad. Great book series. The spinoffs are also good, but definitely if your kid has an interest in fantasy and mythology there's a lot of dust that just came off of this this is the book series for them I love Percy Jackson <laughs> now that I've done the, the book review portion of this video let's get back to um some other stuff um Ah. A Yeti water uh, hydro flask. I use this every day since I gave up drinking juice and like other soft drinks for, uh, for New Year's resolution. I've been drinking a lot of water and God, I love water. Keeps your water cold, stylish, um, easy to wash, durable, um, lightweight, but not lightweight enough that you could you couldn't be able to use it as a weapon. You could take someone's like you could hit them in the head pretty hard and they would hurt them. Um, if you were assaulted, I wouldn't suggest hurting other people with this. I'm not advocating for violence, but if you were in the situation where you needed to defend yourself and you're just like panicking and looking for something to defend yourself with and you like reached out your arm and grabbed the hydro flask and let just whacked him up the head, it would hurt. <sighs> um, TV remote, I use it. To change the channels, to change the input. If you don't own a TV remote, but you own a TV, um, I don't know how to help you with that. You probably should just have a remote. My night guard. It's gross. I need to wash it. I put it in my mouth because I have TMJ. It pops and I grind my teeth at night and it hurts, man. Don't grind your teeth. Um, an Allen wrench that I use to make the, the chair that I'm sitting on. This chair, it's a bad chair. It's very not comfortable at all. I use this Allen wrench to make it. Um, th this is what I use to open up my window, but my window... Look at this. Look at it. Um, it the handle's not on it, and I have to use this these set of pliers 
to open it. It's a horrible, horrible window. Just get one that you lift up. Don't get the, the knob ones or the, the, the ones you need to... Like, it, it's not worth it. All right, that was part one of Evan review stuff in his room. Come back another day when I upload. To hit the hit the bell so you know when I upload. I guess like the video if you liked it. I don't care. I'm just bored. Quarantine is driving me insane. Have a good one. And I'll uh, do part two eventually. Thank <laughs> you.